Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to my review of the Flare Audio R2A in-ear earphones. Now they come supplied in this little sort of cube-shaped box. You get a little cloth carrying bag as well with the Flare Audio logo on it. You also get a pair of Compli foam tips and these are like memory foam tips. So they actually mould to the shape of your ear. So if you imagine this is in your ear and you pop it into the ear canal very slightly, it actually shapes to the size and shape of the inside of your ear. And it remembers that size and gives a very firm fit. So it's a really good at isolating the audio that you're listening to and blocking out external noises. Very important you get a comfortable fit because that does alter the characteristics of the earphones. Now these are the R2A earphones themselves. They come supplied with a 1.2 meter anti-twist or anti-tangle cable. We've also got a three and a half millimeter audio jack on this end. And then the two little units, so the two little ear pieces here, are really well made. They're actually made of uh, aerospace aluminium, 6082 grade aluminium and they're very, very good indeed. Very lightweight, weighing in at just nine grams. And that's for both units, nine grams total weight, including the cable and that three and a half millimeter audio jack. Now, something that's really nice with these is they are actually sealed and pressure balanced. They got five millimeter dynamic drivers with a neodymium magnet. And if we just unscrew this end cap, you can actually replace the cable on these earphones and you can replace the drivers. So everything is removable. I'm not gonna actually do it in this video, but if you did damage the cable, you'd be able to replace the cable. If you wanted to replace the driver, or maybe if Flare Audio offer some sort of driver upgrade in the future, then you can do that with these earphones. With regards to actual audio quality, these produce a very nice audio quality. Now I have already reviewed the Flare Audio R2 Pro on the channel, so please do check that out. I'll leave a link to that in the video description. And the R2 Pros are made of titanium, grade five titanium. And these are a little bit sort of lower down in the range. They're made of a slightly cheaper material. These are made of aluminium instead of titanium, and it affects the audio very slightly, but I mean really slightly. There's hardly any difference in the audio reproduction between these and the R2 Pros. Uh, they're suitable for many different genres of music. The actual bass frequency response is very good indeed, really convincing, doesn't sound muddled at all, even on complicated audio tracks. The mid-tones, absolutely superb, and those higher frequencies, much like with the R2 Pros, sound really good, but just a tiny bit mechanical or clinical on some audio tracks, not on all audio tracks. They're a very, very lightweight, well-engineered, and just superb fitting earphones, and that's thanks to the actual design of these, keeping them nice and lightweight in combination with the Compli tips add to a really comfortable fit and a really engaging audio reproduction. These are the Flare Audio R2A earphones. I can highly recommend these. These are really superb little units and really do produce audio akin to much more expensive earphones. Thanks for watching. Please do hit that like button. Please do subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one.